It's a big sign that the world's most popular sport is finally putting down deep roots in the U.S. The MLS, North America's highest league, recently announcing dates and prices for their expansion plans. The MLS will go from 24 to 28 teams by 2020. The 25th and 26th teams will be announced later in 2017, 27 and 28 in the next three years. The league acknowledged ownership groups from 10 markets have publicly expressed interest in securing an MLS expansion team. Charlotte, Cincinnati, Detroit, Nashville, Raleigh-Durham, Sacramento, St. Louis, San Antonio, San Diego, and Tampa St. Pete. Energy owners from the beginning have maintained their ultimate goal is to join the MLS. They've been observing the expansion news closely. Kind of what we expected in those lines that it would be, you know, four more teams in that kind of sequence. And then, you know, a lot of the, the, the usual suspects have already been in there, Sacramento, St. Louis. Uh, knew those teams were, were looking to go. You know, some new teams on there, such as Charlotte, uh, Raleigh, uh, those, those are teams, cities that probably were always targets, but had never made the short list uh, in, in the immediacy. So, not really surprising, only from, from just some of the new contenders that, that actually are on there and, and are trying to shoot for this next window. It's, it's a big country, uh, and there's a lot of talentful player in the country. And there's a lot of European or South American players who want to come here to, to America. Uh, again, it's a reliable league. You know, what you sign on is what you're getting. You know, you don't have to be nervous or, or shaky about anything. Uh, my understanding, uh, MLS have never missed a payment to, to a player. So it's a very, very reliable league and it's a very attractive league for, for, for a lot of players. OKC not mentioned in the 10. The MLS officials say they will halt expansion for the foreseeable future at 28. OKC Energy owners still confident their club on track for MLS expansion down the line. We're still on a, a long-term uh, track for MLS for us. Uh, you know, they said they're going to stop at 28, and that, I think, uh, makes sense for them at, uh, in this time period. But if they continue on the growth rate they have, I think there will still be room for other teams later on down the line. There's never. You know, all of the major leagues uh, in the, is currently operating in the United States operate at 30 teams or over. Uh, so, you know, I think there's definitely, there's still going to be an opportunity for Oklahoma City at some point. Proven, you know, with the, as long as we prove ourselves and prove the market, uh, and prove ourselves as a community, that, that one that is willing to support uh, an MLS franchise. From, from day one, when I came here to, to Oklahoma, I saw MLS potential in, in the city. Uh, obviously, we needed 100% commitment from, from the ownerships, uh, but again, I think they're proven over the, the last three years. There's action behind their words. Uh, we keep growing as a club, we keep growing as an organization. Uh, the fan base keep growing, and uh, you know, with the potential soccer specific stadium downtown, obviously, going to be, be a huge step in, in the right direction for the MLS push. Energy officials excited about the expansion plans. They now know what it will take to reach their goals with ownership, stadium, and fan support requirements laid out by the league. The plans say a lot about the viability of soccer in the United States, and the roadmap the league has laid out says any future expansion will be done the right way. Requirements that they're putting forth and, and how uh, teams submit, uh, how ownership groups submit their plans and the, the process in which they're going through I think is extremely positive because the one thing they don't want to do is take a misstep and, uh, and award a franchise in a market that either wasn't ready or wasn't viable. Uh, so having the, I think for them on their side, having the number of teams, the number of cities that are looking to, to win an MLS franchise is fantastic. It's a, a lot of demand for them. There's uh, a lot of opportunity for the league and their ownership groups uh, through expansion fees and otherwise. And I think good guidance for us as we learn from the franchises, the cities that went, that won and uh, won out and those that didn't, and give us an understanding of, of how best to approach the application process in the future. For Energy FC TV, I'm Brent Skarkey.